everyone. It is November 22nd Sunday and I have a little surprise for you. Well, in this house we have a new baby. Yes, it's a little baby. Yes, she is. She's a, a little feral kitten that was out back behind the landlady's house and the landlady caught her and we brought her in here. That's been about 10 days and we put her in a cage and after about three days she destroyed the cage so badly that um, now she just roams freely in the house. She gets along fine with the boys. Oh yes, I know, she hurts. Squirmy, wormy. Mm. You're squirmy. She's okay with being petted, not real good with being held and cuddled and doesn't really respond to affection. I mean, you can get her to purr, but... Okay, you want to get down? You want to get down? Mm. Okay, go on. There she goes. Okay, so yes, there's a new baby in the house. Uh, trying to get her adopted. Um, although the landlady's like, well, she gets along with the other cats, why don't you just keep her? I don't want to keep another cat. Around here, when a cat dies off, and we just had one die off this last week, the idea is not to replace it. I mean, we already have like 15 cats on the property. So don't really need another one. I'd like to see her be reducing the cat population. So, um, anyhow. Yeah, we have a new baby. I didn't give her a name. I just call her the baby. Um, so I'll go around the house saying, where's the baby? Where's the baby? And she doesn't respond to it. Um, because I haven't given her a name. I, I don't want to give her a name. She, I don't want to I don't want her to stay here. I want her to find a new home. So, okay, so what have I been working on? Well, I did a sample of the Willow Square because I think I'm going to do a uh, wedding afghan made out of the Willow Square. So, please ignore the colors as we're just made of scrap colors. And so I just made you know, one of the Willow Square, which was very easy. Uh, if you have done any of those Debbie Dearest Afghans, believe me, after you've done one of those, this is nothing. That's nothing. And speaking of the Debbie Dearest, uh, I'm already at work on another one. But this one, because uh, I have so little white, I'm using beige, uh, where the other one had white, and I wanted to do one with more muted colors, so this one is not quite as girly and, and white and pretty as the other one. This one is just a little more muted. It'll still be beautiful, but um, anyways, this one's going to be a gift for someone. And uh, speaking of not having any white, um, did you? Uh, I hope you all got this Joanne's flyer. But in mine, where is it? Oh, uh, well, starting Wednesday at 6 a.m., the Karen One Pounders are on sale for $4.99. So, my next door neighbor is going to take me there at 6 a.m. And hopefully I can get some cream. Now, um, I've noticed that Joanne's and Michael's are both out of the white in the one-pounders. But I can still get the white in um, uh, Red Heart. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have Michael's gift cards, and you know, Michael's also sells some of the colors in 12 packs, so I'll get a 12 pack of white, maybe two of them. Um, 
So that's that with that. Um, that uh, I don't even know how much. I'm going to do the the wedding afghan and cream and white. Um, I don't even know how much cream I need, but you know, to make it worth the trip over, I'll probably get I don't know four to six one pounders if they have them. And I think in my last video I had said I was going to uh, start on an amigurumi. And so I have. Here's this little guy. I have this and his little arms. I haven't done too much on him. I was a little, a little disappointed in the instructions on the pattern. Because I really like it when... I'm doing an amigurumi and the pattern specifically says put the eyes between these two rows and and this far apart. None of that. She just like gets to uh, the end of the head and the body and says okay install the eyes. You're like yeah what row am I supposed to install them on? Anyhow and then um, even doing these arms I mean Thankfully, of course, I've done these Debbie Dears blankets. But like to make this little thumb on the arm, she just says, you know, four double crochets. Yeah, well, you don't want to just leave it four double crochets and continue around because then your count is off. Uh, but she doesn't tell you, oh, you've got to gather those four crochets into one. She doesn't say that. But I know to do that because, of course, I've worked on the Debbie Dears stuff. And then you look at the row count after the thumb, and you're like, okay, well, I've got to have eight. Well, that means I've got to secure those four. So you have to make a little puff, but she didn't say to make a puff. Or a little pop, I should say. Not a puff, a pop. So I haven't been as enthusiastic about the pattern as I initially was. It's still cute. I know he's going to be cute when I put him on the shelf and when he's all finished. But um, just not enthusiastic about the amount of, or the lack of instructions. Uh, but thankfully, I mean, who puts in safety eyes after the whole thing is already sealed up? That's stupid. You always put in the safety eyes when you can access the back. That's why you put in the safety part. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyhow, um, what else is going on? Um, well, our state, which has never really gotten out of a lockdown, has now been clamped down further. And we even have a curfew because apparently uh, the virus is more active between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. So we have a curfew during those hours for the next month. Um, we also have these stupid limits on how many people you can have for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And, uh, well, I think most people just ignore that stuff. They're going to just have family. If they want family and friends, they're going to have it. And that's how it should be. Because this thing is 99.96% recoverable. So quit having a freak out about it. It's a bad flu season. That's it. That's it. The virus is nothing more than a flu derivative. So please get your quercetin. Get your zinc. Be taking them as a prophylactic. And stop the nonsense. And uh, I see that toilet paper is in short supply again. What's your problem? What's your problem? What? Yeah, what? What? Shh, 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 shh. Thankfully, I have spent the last eight months prepping. And I have plenty of toilet paper, probably enough to get me through all of next year. So, if you ran out, if you're running out and you can't find any, why didn't you spend the last eight months prepping? 
I mean, it's not a surprise. You don't want what happened. Uh, that run on food, the run on uh, paper products, you don't want that to affect you. So get out there, get your stuff all you can, if you can. Um, yeah, do it. Anyhow, um, birds are going a little bit crazy at the moment, so I will say have a great rest of the week, and um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.